Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over an online dating website called Furzoo, a website that's dedicated to <sighs> furries. Now, right off the bat, if this doesn't seem like the perfect online dating website for you, don't worry, we got a, we got a different alternative, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, I'll let you know what that perfect online dating website is for you personally. And if you'd like to take that quiz yourself, you can do so by jumping down into the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page again in the description down below or by clicking on the link popping up above my head right here. Now in order to make this review a bit easier to comprehend, I've broken it down into these five categories. The first of which being the user demographics, the ease of use, the pricing, the key features, and then the success rates. So without further ado, let's get into number one on the list, which is the user demographics. Well, firstly, for Zoo is strictly for furries, and it is for both serious and casual relationships. As far as the stats indicate, the website is particularly visited by the following parts of the world. The United States at 76%, Spain at about 8%, 3% from Canada, 2% from Germany, and about 1% from Iceland. The remaining percentage of the website is split amongst the rest of the world. Another fun fact is that about 27% of the furries from the United States have had professional photographers take pics of them, which only additionally justifies the gargantuan base of followers coming from that part of the world. Observing channels through which people visit Furzoo, 8% belong to the traffic from social networks, with YouTube leading the way with 56% of that 8% coming from YouTube. Following YouTube is Twitter at 27%, then Facebook at 14%, Reddit at half a percentage, and Instagram at a quarter of a percentage. Analyzing the website by age distribution, all groups are present, but the majority of them are aged between 25 and 34 years old, which indicates that this network is focused on the younger population. People on this website are mainly looking for their identity, those who like to explore and experiment, and this place gives them plenty of opportunities to do so. So, for Zoo is meant for those who cannot imagine their lives without being furries, and those for looking for like-minded friends and partners. Now I'm about to go over number two on my list, which is the ease of use. But before I do that, I did wanna ask you guys to make sure you are hitting like and subscribe. It really does help push this very useful information out onto the internet and we really super appreciate you guys hitting like and subscribe. So this moves me on to number two on my list, which is the ease of use. To become a member, you just need to have a valid email address and you have to pick a username and it's as simple as that. This makes you a legit member, but at this stage, you are just a tiny fish in the ocean crowded with furry fans. If you want to make your profile stand among the crowd, you should take some time to complete it and set all of the preferences. So among the data you can include to give your profile a boost, you have a date of birth, location, weight, height, gender, relation status and how you identify yourself. Speaking of gender, options are numerous which once more confirms how open-minded this community is. Aside from male and female, you can also choose among transgender, masculine and feminine, androgynous, agender, non-binary, and others. Also, you can add body types that you like in your body type, general or community related kinks and interests, and many more. There's a field where you can describe yourself, state your persona, <laughs> education, interest, favorite music, TV shows, artists, books, and so on. Moreover, you can write what's your idea of a great Sunday night and say which words you live by. You can reveal your earliest furry memory or funniest, but you can also share your hottest furry memory with the members of the community, which I assume is all of the time because I'm sweating profusely in this, how you guys wear these suits all the time. 
Of course, none of this is mandatory, but it's the best way to make yourself more visible because profiles that are filled out with stats usually generate more traffic than the ones that are completely empty. Once you've completed this, you can get down to exploring the community of people gathered on this very interesting platform. You can use the features up to a certain extent, but you won't be able to get all of the benefits included in upgraded paid memberships, which we will get into later. Meanwhile, let's see what you can do when you are part of the community. You can search for the members, browse the directory with photos, or check out the events. In addition to this, you can browse either your or your global news feed and keep in touch with the latest activities here. One thing that particularly attracts the attention is that the site is very active. So many members are online consistently, so you don't have to worry about being the lone wolf here unless that's your fursona, of course. The moment you sign in, chat options are waiting there for you to take part and exchange your thoughts and ideas. Your and anyone else's profile will have a pic displayed on the right side with two separate albums, public and private. In the section with information, you will find three categories, basic profile, extended, and preferences, which will help you get a better insight into that person. So this is gonna move me onto number three in my list, but before I jump into that, we do have the question of the day. And my question of the day is, what is your favorite furry convention to go to? Because I'm sure there are plenty of them and you probably have a favorite. Let us know in the comments down below. So this is gonna move me onto number three on my list, which is the pricing. While there's a basic set of services on this website that can be used for completely free, Verzu does actually offer a paid membership called Verzu Plus. You can purchase the Verzu Plus membership in different monthly options. The first of which is for one month at $7.99, the second of which is for three months at $19.99, and the third of which is for 12 months at $59.99. So what do you get with this Verzu membership? Well, there's actually two main things that end up changing and it's photos and messages. With a regular plan, you can view 25 full-size pics per day, browse a list of photo thumbnails for the last 30 days and upload 200 combined photos, meaning private and public. On the other hand, with an upgraded status to Verzu Plus, the first two services are unlimited while the number of allowed photos to upload goes up to 1,000. As for communication with free subscriptions, you get 10 outgoing messages, flirts, or posts on someone else's wall on a daily basis, while a paid package grants you an unlimited number. The good news though is that it doesn't limit the amount of messages you can receive in a day, so you can receive an infinite amount whether you are paying or not. There are multiple other benefits too that come with the membership, but we're going to go over all of that in our next section which is the key features. But before I jump into that, I do wanna ask you guys that if you are going to sign up for any online dating website, and yes, that includes a furry dating website, you should 100% check, you should 100 check out our online dating website deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. So this is gonna move me onto number four on our list, which is the key features of Furzu. In terms of some out of the world features, you won't really find many of these here. The site is equipped with a variety of options, but none of them is particularly unique or authentic or anything that the world hasn't seen before. You can send a message or a flirt, and you can also block and report a person if you so choose. Having in mind that people can upload both public and private photos, you'll also be able to explore albums. The public album is available for everybody to view, while the private album is only available to those you so choose to send it to. Keep in mind that, similar to other sites, Furzu is not tolerant of uploading offensive, rude, or inappropriate content. What you will find on this website though is that it is acceptable to upload art as your profile, so you will actually notice that many people on this website do not have actual photos of themselves, they have art. When you're on the main page of your profile, you can browse people by using several filters, which include nearby, nearby and online, today's birthday, new members, my network, and my followers. That's plenty of convenient options. Then you can search through photos and display them by the following criteria. Latest by everyone, latest by my network, 
latest by private, or simply explore your favorite photos. It's pretty cool to mention too that besides English, the website can be switched to several different languages, and this includes Dutch, Portuguese, French, and Chinese Mandarin making it even simpler for the international clientele to use. As for the improved set of services, one of the most interesting options is the possibility to browse in incognito mode. Having in mind that some people are new to this, the others a bit shy or still in some experimental phase, this option comes in handy. Then there's a blog with some interesting and trendy topics where you can find out more about the furry fandom itself and many more. Now this is going to move me on to the last one on my list, which is number five, the success race. But before I jump into that, I do want to ask you guys one last time to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. We super duper appreciate it. One of the biggest aspects of Furzu is its members, obviously. These are some very unique people on this website. And if you do feel like you fit this certain niche of people, this is going to be a fantastic place for you to find a bunch of like-minded people in that aspect. And while dating is certainly an aspect of this website, it's pretty clear that this website is a lot more community-based than it is based off of dating. You're seeing a lot of people just kind of shout out their thoughts like it's a social media rather than an online dating website. But if being a furry is that prevalence of an identity to you, then you are very likely to find some potential matches here. So in order for me to measure success on this website, I'm going to have to break it into two parts. The first part is that if you are looking for success and you're looking to just make new friends on, an, on the internet and not necessarily meet up with them IRL, then I think this website can be great for you no matter where you are in the world. Dating wise, however, where you're going to meet up with these people IRL, uh, I'd say it's really only going to happen if you go to like furry conventions or if you're living in the US considering the vast majority of furries on this website apparently come from the United States. Don't get me wrong, it's not impossible that you can't get dating from this website. I just don't think that many of the people on this website are open for IRL interactions. But, you know, registration is free, so if you would like to join this website, you absolutely can do that. Explore it a little bit, see if it's for you and then decide to pay for the membership if you think it is worth it. However, if you think this website is not for you, don't worry, we got a great solution for you, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, I'll let you know exactly what the online dating website is for you personally. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. Now with that being said, if you want to see some more content from us, be sure to check out one of the two videos popping up on my left and right here. And I did want to again ask you guys our question of the day, and that's what is your favorite furry convention to go to? Let us know in the comments down below. And before you guys leave, I'd like to ask you one more time to be sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Super duper appreciated. I'll catch you guys here next time on Online for Love. See ya. <sighs> My God, it's so hot. How do you guys, how do you do this every day? Jesus Christ.